Hello everyone. In this video, we would be learning operator overloading of binary operator using print function. In the previous video, we had learned operator overloading using member function. And now in this, we would be learning operator overloading using print function. We would be adding uh, using binary addition for this purpose. Here we have a look at the main function complex c1 c2 c3 complex is the name of the class with three data member uh, three objects c1 c2 and c3 input function is for getting the values of the data members of the class complex c3 is equals to c1 plus c2 is the statement for addition of two objects in this particular program we would be adding this plus using a friend function then we have the display function Display function is used to display the complex number. Here we go with the class. Class complex int real comma imaginary. That is the data members of the class complex. And in public section we have input function. Input function would be taking two values from the user. One for real part and one for the imaginary part. Then we have the statement c3 is equals to c1 plus c2. C plus operator is being overloaded here and through friend function and friend functions are declared inside the class defined outside the class so we would be declaring it as friend complex complex is the return type for this particular statement operator plus is the operator function used to overload plus operator and since we are doing uh, we are adding binary two objects using a friend function we would be requiring two parameters and both of them are of complex type. First complex represents the left hand side operand and second complex represents the right hand side operand. And the definition for the same is complex operator plus complex C, complex D. And in uh, function definition we have declared an object R of class complex. Here, the value of C1 would be transferred to object C and the value of object C2 would be transferred to object D. So, we would be having the statement R.real is equals to C.real plus D.real and R.imaginary is equals to C.imaginary plus D.imaginary and return R. That means this, uh, when these two uh, objects would be added the result would be uh, stored in the object r that is returned and would be assigned to c3 and the next statement is c3 dot display that is to display the complex number in the form of real plus imaginary i now friend function we are using <clears throat> friend function to overload binary operator so the statement c3 is equals to c1 plus c2 would be interpreted by the compiler as c3 is equals to operator plus c1 comma c2 that means both the left hand side and right hand side operands of plus operator would be sent as parameters since we don't need any object to invoke the operator function we would be writing it directly c3 is equals to operator plus c1 comma c2 the values of c1 would be transferred to object c values of c2 would be or transferred to object d and the result would be obtained in object r that is then again assigned to the object c3 now we come to the implementation part of this particular program here we have written a program binary f dot cpp. In this we have used a class complex with two data members real and imaginary an input function to get the two data members display to display the complex number and operator function implemented as a friend function. The friend function is de declared in the class, defined outside the class. Here we have closed this particular class and then we would be moving to complex operator plus that is the definition of the function. And now let's execute this program. Enter the complex numbers. Here the complex number is 12 plus 8 iota. The second complex number is 3 plus 
six iota and after addition the complex numbers would be 15 plus 14 iota that is 12 plus 3 15 and 8 plus 6 14 real part is added to the real part and imaginary part is added to the imaginary part hope you would have learned this concept of operator overloading and thank you and have a nice day